Hello, everyone, and welcome out to the good, the bad, and the geeky. See, no one has no idea what I said to you yeah. to make you do that. But it's a podcast where I talk about a bunch of geeky stuff, some good, some bad, all of it definitely geeky. Today on the show, we have Nathan, a.k.a. DJ Meat, on the show to help us out, introduce something. Well, we'll get to that in a second. But first, Nathan, yes, I'm sure you have some words to, to tell us. I do. I would like to talk about uh, Stark Story Snacks. Oh, so Stark time Story time. Snacks is on season three. Mm -hmm. And but it has come to an end. But for a limited time, the stories are still free on their website, um, iabdpresents.com. Binge all nine micro fiction pieces of scary, mysterious, and mythical. The <coughs> anthologies tale are standalone, so you can jump in whenever you feel like it. Ooh, That's ooh. actually kind of cool for someone like me because I have a hard time watching things in order. Uh, season one and two are still available and digital. Illustrated collections on Amazon.com. Check them out and all of our work at IAB, IABDpresents.com. And don't forget to give a buck or two to support our programming at Patreon.com forward slash IABD. Thank you, Nathan. Yes, I too thought that was mediocre. <laughs> No, they then gave me like a me eh, hand wave. I was like, yeah, no, 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 you did great. You did great. Our official sponsor of the show, though, is Audible with over 200,000 titles to choose from. Get your audiobook by going to audibletrial.com forward slash goodbaggeeky. Download the Audible app and start enjoying your new audiobook by signing up. And remember, it's a 30 day membership free plus a book to get you started. And exchanges are easy. If you don't love the book, swap it out for free anytime. That's audibletrial.com forward slash goodbaggeeky. All right, so on this episode, we open up for It's All Been Done Radio Hour at itsallbeendoneradiohour.com, and they perform once a month at Mad Lab, and in this particular month, this was for June 2018, and it might be the bro code. I have n I've realized that I've, I don't have anything to add to this one, except for it, it could be good. It might not be. I hope it is. I do. It, here, here's the thing. This is, my, this is terrible. My, my <laughs> or was terrible. No, <laughs> it's both. It's, it was it was terrible then. It's terrible now. Like, we're not very sure. I'm very pleased and scared to be here. Oh, I found out there was a meme, and I sent it to Sarah because Sarah texted me. My wife texted me last night. She's like, "I was able to get taxes done," and I was just trying. To, I looked for th like a, a a gif like a, on via text. It was like a hand clap. Thank you, thank you, hand clap. And it just there was a clip from Harry Potter of of the original Dumbledore from the movies, just mm. like doing that weird like oh. you guys can't see it, but it's like his one hand is where his like man boobies are or whatever and on his chest, and it's kind of like upside down, and he just he's like a, doing a weird clap, and, and it's like just animated in a thing, and he just says hashtag Dumbledore is pleased, and I was just like so I said that to her, and I did not get a response <laughs> back, but I, I thought that was funny, um, yeah, Harry Potter. Good stuff. You've been to the Wizarding World, haven't you? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, everybody, well, it was no, fun. I mean, no, was it fun? Yeah. It Talk blast. about it. Talk about it. Oh, okay. Well, I was there. All right. In 2017. And yeah. And, I mean, <laughs> it was uh, the one in Orlando. And we, I mean, just. You had butterbeer? Butterbeer. It was amazing. I had, I think, like seven glasses. What, what uh, does it taste like? It tastes like buttered beer? It's kind of like. Kind of like butterscotch. Was it alcoholic? No, I wish. I was saying, okay, because then they, um, yeah, the kids can drink it too. Ooh, ah, uh, the kids. Like butterscotch, like it's kind of like a sweet butterscotch. My favorite though was butter was uh, butter beer ice cream. That's by far, yeah, that was amazing. I would definitely Sweets. recommend the ice cream. The drink, I can see how somebody. I had it. I had it hot. I also had cold butter beer because it was like iced coffee. Iced okay. butter beer. That didn't tickle my fancy very much, but uh, I would say by far the ice cream. I don't know what's the difference. I mean, just taking it already being cold and just freezing it was a stroke of genius. Uh, <laughs> Who would ever think I mean, <laughs> freezing solid something to create a solid mass I know, would it was, be so good? It was delicious. Um, Do you ever wonder, and I'm not kidding, like every once in a while, like every once in a while, like I'll be eating ice cream and I'm like, who the fuck came up with ice cream? Who the fuck came up with, I want something to drink, I'm going to get milk from a cow. Like, because in, in the baseline of humanity, we just didn't know that cows produced milk. So... Did we know that we produced milk? I, I, I don't... Here's the thing. We're logically, logically, 
I don't think so. But at some point, somebody had to figure it out. And there's a well, part I'm of sure me that Mary we, did when she birthed Jesus, because then her breasts well, were enlarged. So didn't she feed Jesus? Well, no, the Holy Spirit fed Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. That was a little, no, no. Well, the next woman to get knocked yeah, out. I'm sure. sure yeah, okay, by the way, I like how you just skipped all mankind before <laughs> that point and went right to Mary and Jesus. I mean, forget, like, everybody that came before it, like Adam and Eve. Okay, so, like, but Adam and Eve, like, like we don't know. So there are a lot of scientific people that believe that Eden kind of did exist. You know, like there was one mm. point where everyone came from, and that was probably the Garden of Eden. But like, were all the animals there, or were they just spread out everywhere already? And like, humanity started at one vocal one point. So, what if there were no fucking cows? I, you're just like in the Jeff Goldblum moment. I, I, ooh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, just imagine this drop of water is the human race, and <laughs> it, notice how if you just move it, it destroys everything in its path. <laughs> Like humanity. Um, no, no, but legitimately, like, uh, it must go faster, must go faster. I, I've always wondered that. Like, so, like, was someone, like, a sexual pervert and just saw those things hanging there? I was like, I wonder if I can suck that. And then milk came out and the cow didn't kill him. And they were like, oh, my God, this is delicious. Let me put it on cereal. But then I and went I to don't Diagon know Alley. Then I went to Diagon Alley. <laughs> Way to take it back. Uh, <laughs> this is <a> serious. <laughs> green gods. I will say, if you have a problem with, um, like motion type rides, like rides where you're just sitting there, but like you all, but like they, they move you and like, you're looking yeah, at a he's screen. Going too well with that. Dude. No. So like the green gods ride, um, even though That's, it was, is that where you follow Harry Potter on the broomstick too? Sort of. Okay. Um, like you're, like you're weaving around and everything. Um, and then like, but it's just, it's just so much going on. And then part of it's a ride, like like you're you're in a room, and then you're like watching the TV, and then like your cart is moving, and then there's a little bit of riding around, I and mean, that's actually what I was looking forward to. I was actually looking forward to just finally fucking moving, so that I, but I probably between that and the Jimmy Fallon ride, great ride, great. I actually but heard you're just it sitting wasn't there, good. you I mean, but it's just, I mean, it's just it's just so much, and then the Simpsons ride. I mean, they're all the same, but different. Different, yeah. But they all have one thing in common: is what you know, what can make Nate throw up. So, like, I never miss Cedar Point yeah. in all my life. Uh, which, yeah, I was about to say, like, when we went to Cedar Point, like, you even told me, like, look, if you want to do all the rides, let's do all the rides. But I'm going to tell you, when we get to that point right there, what was it? Was it the the one that goes just shoots straight up and then just drops? All oh, the power towers, the power tower, tower power, whatever. You're just yeah. like, once I do that, I'm kind of done. <laughs> And I was just like, are you, though, or are you fucking with me? Because, you know. It was your birthday. It was my birthday. But at the same time, it's just like, are you razzing me a little bit? Because, you know, because we're friends. Or are you just, and and then, like, right, you did that, like, you, I literally looked over, you You look like those videos that people post where someone just, like, kind of drops their head, like, they just pass out. Like, you didn't pass out, but there was a moment where, it, like, but you were really just going, oh, Jesus. Like, I don't want to vomit here. Like, it, that's what it looked like. And I was like, and then, like, legitimately, you're like, can we sit down for a second? And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> like, Nathan's not feeling good. Yeah. But, I, and I forget, yeah, that was the last one we did, wasn't it? No, we did, we did one more, I thought, didn't we? After that, that was the one we liked the... the I mean, we did at least, we did, I mean, we, we did, did all, rap. yeah, we did a lot, we did at least five. Yeah. But, but I just I don't remember, remember if that yeah. one was the one we ended on, but... Oh, I don't remember. Well, so, f- weird fun fact about Universal, where you went to go to Harry Potter's Wizarding World, mm-hmm. um, the Simpsons ride used to be the Back to the Future ride. Yeah. And you can watch that, actually, on the Blu-ray for Back to the Future. It's like they actually took, like, the, the video that you watch, because... So, for those who've never been there, the Simpsons ride, I think it's still kind of set up. There are, like, a bunch of weird cars or something that you sit in, and it you tilts You just sit in one and- big red one. Right. Well, like everyone does, or like every like mm-hmm. there are groups of people sitting in multiple I, red cars. There's you're in like there's individual rooms for individual cars. That makes right. sense. Like I went, yes. like we went to our own room, and I think I don't know maybe like ten can fit. Yeah, like it was. I mean, there's like a row and a row. It was almost like you're in. The, you're it almost looked like you were in their sedan or in their in their wagon. Or right. Whatever. So you would do that in the front of it, the, of the car, looked like the DeLorean. The back, like when you're inside, they had like the... the I didn't know. I, at that point, I've ridden like three rides before that. This is but, purely survival. But the the video of it that you watch, so like the Simpsons one probably oh, has the video, up on the big screen, comes right on the big screen. It, yeah. The Back to the Future one, the one that pops on the big screen, everything, including they have the videos where like you're in the waiting room waiting to go mm-hmm. in for the ride. Oh, yeah. They have all of it on the Blu-ray. It's kind of cool. It looks weird, though, because it was meant to be 3D. Or like you know, it, it's shot differently, 
Um, cause it's on an IMAX screen, like a real IMAX mm-hmm. screen and it's, and it's kind of done like a fishbowl. So it looks, so it has more depth of vision and it, it looks different when you play it on a big screen, but it's still kind of cool if you've never seen it. Mm-hmm. Some, so for listeners out there, I would definitely, I, I think it's, it was a lot of fun, but I just remember they're like, they're putting the Simpsons right in. And then I saw, I was like, oh, they're taking out back to feature. That's kind of a bummer. I mean, it's also a really old ride, but oh well. I, I mean, they took out Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters was a horrible ride. I never did. Oh, uh, I did. Uh, Men in Black. I always forget about that one. That ride was actually it wasn't bad. That one, if you have a motion sickness problem like I do, at least with these types of rides, it was nice to at least try to pretend to shoot stuff. Okay. But the problem was in between each section. Like imagine you're like you're doing these you're in these different sections to get like some f- certain cars will spin. Oh, and mine yeah. spun and like there was nothing. It would, I mean, it would just be it would like a teacup. Teacup ride spin. So it, was, <coughs> it wasn't as much like nice and slow as it was just like, hey, we're eight. Yeah. Which, so they have a, I think they, that was based after, I could be wrong. I either oh, they it was, did it first. No, but no, it's based on Men in Black, but like Disney did it something similar. It's their Toy Story ride is you oh, sit no in idea. a little car. Um, I've seen video of it and you fire and, and it does the same thing. It's like you're going around and, or and you're like firing at stuff. Mm-hmm. And in Men in Black's cases, you're shooting the aliens. Yeah. But, uh, no, yeah, the Ghostbusters ride was, I think they have, it, it's now called Twister. But you go in and you just sit down in the I theater and there's like a screen, but they have actors on the screen. But then it's like, it's it's kind of like live action visual effects, but okay. behind a screen. So you, you can't see all the wires and stuff like that, but it's kind of hokey. So like they actually had like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, because you're on the rooftop and the thing starts with the Ghostbusters, and yeah, it's it's weird and ridiculous. Ooh. It was actually not great because it was kind of boring. Like, but at that point, it was also like, oh, this is nice to sit down, and it's and you can get in there quick. So yay! All right, I and, didn't get to do the Minions ride, but I was fine. Yeah, you would sadly probably not do well with the Guardians of the Galaxy ride because they took what, out. Is that at Universal? It's oh. not Universal. It's at Disney, but they took out the. Um, it's I think it's at Disney MGM or at least. It's going to be in Orlando. It's already at California, but they took out the Twilight Zone ride where it's the Tower of Terror, where it, pretty much, it does the same thing where it drops and all that. What they did was... I wrote that a long time ago. They replaced it with Guardians of the Galaxy, and James Gunn wrote and directed it. So they have the entire cast come back, including Bradley Cooper, and what happens is all the Guardians get kidnapped, and Rocket, he's going to rescue them, and so he like... But literally, there's an animatronic Rocket walking back and forth, kind of pacing... And yelling at the audience, going, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this, and then we're going to save the Guardians of the Galaxy, okay? Because the Collector thinks he can collect us, or whatever. And That's kind of cool. It is kind of cool, and the video that I saw of Rocket looks fucking lifelike. It looks amazing. That's awesome. It is. That's what, so you said it's in California, but it's... I think they're trying to make in... it... Yeah, because the t- Tower of Terror, I think, was in both Orlando and... Um, I just LA. remember getting sick from the Tower of Terror. Or Burbank. Yeah. Well, no, right. So that was the down thing is that... I, spent they, two, I remember that was 2001 when I rode that. Honestly, though, you could probably just watch it on YouTube and go, I've ridden the ride. The only thing that you would probably want to do is just like, I want to see the talking animatronic raccoon mm-hmm. and then be like, okay, I'm good. I don't, well, no, I want to experience the feeling of wanting to throw up for the next eight hours. But what's interesting is, and this is where they want you to come back and rewrite it, which will not happen for you right away is because you'll be getting sick probably, is the soundtrack is different every single time. So one of the things Rocket does is before the doors open and you try to find the Guardians to help them, Rocket plugs in the Walkman and each time the, the experience is different because of the song. Oh, that's so, cool. Right, so I think one time... Like if you're there for like three... I mean, that's nice if you're... I mean, if you're there for like, I don't know, four or five days, however long, you know, families are there. And you keep writing Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. Well, yeah, well, I mean, that'd be fun. You could get a different song. I think there's like four songs that are different. And the goal was, they said, to hopefully change it out like once every few years. Kind of cool. Kind of neat. But... You mean you one pr- song every three or four years or... So, yeah. So they rotate... The, so there are four songs that you might get on the ride. Oh, okay. And so they might switch able... those four songs out every oh, few years. So okay. that way you just don't keep listening to... Oh, they're like, probably, are they from the play... Like Awesome Playlist 1 or Awesome Playlist no, 2 or whatever? No. Well, no. But they're from James Gunn. Like, he chose the song. Help them chose the song. It was probably a licensing thing, too. Because oh. the, the movies are different than a theme park ride. Because theme park ride happens every day. I'm going to assume it was a different set of things that they could go from. But like James, like so. Oh, for, I think about that. So like, if you watched Infinity War, 
the song that they're listening to. Like James Gunn didn't write the film. He didn't direct it, but he got to, he's like, here's a list of songs that I would have them listen to in the scene right now because of, they got the, was it the Zune? Mm -hmm. And so when you hear rubber band, man, that is a song that James Gunn picked out. So every, the music is picked out by James Gunn, which is awesome. He's coming back for the third one. Hey. Yay. Cause he got fired for a second. Speaking of not being fired, uh, we might get fired for not talking about this episode, which is The Good, The Bad, and The Geeky, June 2018. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. June 2018 at Mad Lab for tickets to watch us live and then, of course, watch a great show, which is It's All Been On Radio, which Nathan and I are a part of. Nathan is Daniel Kravitz, and I play Tim the Time Machine. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> yes, I do. So if you'd like to see that show and then also watch us bullshit for 15 minutes... Um, and play a game. And also, I'm trying to give prizes out now, best I can. Not guaranteeing it, because prizes cost money. But, yeah. like, gift cards and stuff like that. So, if you like to movies, uh, places to eat. So, if you like to come out, please. And a little bit, go, and, and a little bit goes a long way, because I mean, it, it's fun to go. And at least if you're in the audience, it's like, well, I, you know, I, I bought a ticket to come to this. But, you know, if I can get, you know, if I get something out of it, then it's oh, like yeah. they paid me to come. It's like, I think, I think, I think tickets are $7. Don't quote me on that. If you, because again, oh, I'm well, in the, the show. Yeah, the prizes are more than $7. So oh, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The t- but the ticket to get in, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, you're getting more bargain for your buck. Like, you're seeing a profit, yeah. actually. And original compositions and original scripts. Oh, yeah. And everyone mm-hmm. practices. And their time hard. <laughs> they do. Like, they really do, though. So God bless um, those people. Yeah, uh, those people. <laughs> but us, we don't rehearse that at well, all. You might. I don't know. Uh, no, no, I'm talking about for GBG. Like we as GBG don't oh, rehearse God, at all. I've never no, we just for GBG in my life. we just stroll out there, and then afterwards, like that could have gone better. <laughs> it's I like no shit. We didn't rehearse. I anything. didn't get where I am today by practicing. But yeah, if you'd like to go see more episodes, go to MadLab.net for ticket information or for more information in general about the show. About it's all been in radio. I should say, go to it's all been on radar.com and then because we usually will open up for it and do something like you're about to hear which is June 2018 on the Radio Welcome out to It's All Been Done Radio Hour. But before we get started with that, Good Bad Eat is going to open up. If you would like to uh, go see or go see. Go see? They're, they're already yeah, here to see us, yeah. If you'd like to listen to it, go to gbgpodcast.com and uh, you can get uh, more information on how to subscribe, check out past episodes, and much more. With me, as always, are my comrades for GBG Live, which is uh, Jerome Munsell, a.k.a. Jim, and then uh, Nate, a.k.a. Nathan. A.k.a. Moron. DJ AK Play with Meats. Yep. Plays with me. Smoke meats and fish. Uh, and today we're going to do something called Smoke something uh, every day. You hopefully know it's called Bro Code. Bro Code? What's that? Bro hey. Code is a game where we, it's kind of pretty much a $100,000 pyramid, but with the words bro and bra. I'm introducing a new, I'm introducing a, a new category today. Yes. So while uh, Nathan gets ready, would either of you like to come up and play? I guarantee yeah. Take that fun. as a no. All right. <laughs> All right. So, well, that's okay. We need teammates yeah, to exit. Got, uh, Joe and we already have a friend in here. Bro Morales. Oh, well, do you want to do oh, I Come on. Oh, okay. We have a volunteer. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Thank you. All right. <clears throat> so, coming out. So, what teams do you guys, guys want to be on now? Keith Braxton? Mm. No. His name doesn't work. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Jack Run. Uh, I, I would be that. Oh, Jim and I won last time. All right, defending champs. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy oh, will never win. Do this. Right. Jimmy will never win twice in a row. I will sabotage. Oh. Keith, oh. Uh, he tried to sabotage just last time, but we still won. That's so. No, you guys did one. All right, so Keith, you're on my team. All right. We usually have. I have a usually have a good track record. You've only won once against me. I know because he cheats. <laughs> no, he really didn't cheat last time. Actually, I came over to look at it because I thought he was cheating on you yeah. guys. And no, cheating the on. first game, yeah. the first time we played this, I won, and he sabotaged. What? Yep. Lies and slander. All right, Nathan, <laughs> would you like to go over the rules Big real news. quick right Big before news. we begin? Uh, so the rules are simple. Bro just re- um, 
Uh, I forget the word now because I'm really hungry. Bra? Hey, br- well, we're not doing bra. You should hungry. have some O chips. Do what? You some should have chips. some O chips. So all the O, bro any chips. word with a long O, you replace bro with it. Oklahoma, Broklabroma, stuff like that. Uh, I'm introducing a new category today called Combros. We're going to use that at the end. That's where you use a combination. The word will have a combination of bro and bra. Mm. Okay, so technically oh. Oklahoma would be Broklabrom bra. Uh, okay, I know. Right. See, Joe, really Joe and I had the same thing. It like, really, it really can be. Fun. Thank you. Yes. But right now, that's we're just that's playing. Bonus. We're not. We're just playing bro for two rounds, and for time's sake, I'm assuming that uh, the combros would be the final round, kind of like yes, the bronies. That would be the final one. Okay, <laughs> dear so, God, Joe, pick a hand, pick an arm, pick the good one, that one. Okay, this one. Yep. He so what I've done is I just put together all the bros that I that I that I could write. Um, there's there's all sorts of categories. There's cities and states. There's food. There's artists. There's uh, professional athletes. There's musical instruments. Oh there's, God! There's athletes you are sabotaging. There. Um, oh, there's, I got some too, sir. There's um, <laughs> yeah, but you know a couple of just them. A random word. It could be like I love Kiki, boat you know would sports. be broke. I do not. There's no rhyme or reason, reason for well. the miscellaneous. Each round, um, I give each person a minute. Sometimes I give Jimmy like 58 or 59, but I usually give Nick like a minute and two just because I want to push this side. Um, oh, that's no, funny. I would never do that twice. Um, <laughs> but, right, he does it like 10, 12, oh, oh, times. For, for time's sake here, just a couple of rounds. Each bro is a point within the word. If you get a word with multiple long O's, Go for multiple points. Each O is in itself worth one point. The combros will be worth five at the end. Hopefully we get there. Um, so let me just get to my doodle. Okay, who would like to go first? So Nick. Oh, jeez, <laughs> thanks. He didn't even look. He didn't see. No, right no I, I, I just saw Joe pointing. <laughs> Good. Okay. Oh. And here we go. Are you ready, Nick and Keith? I am. Yes. Good, because I have to get my timer, and that was just me stalling. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, go. It's it's a city, the Windy City. Uh, Chicago. All right, great. Okay, you're not going to get that one. Uh, Not going to get that one. Darn it. All right, it's uh, uh, halfway to, in April, halfway to, it's a party. Oh, uh, Halloween. All right. Um, they uh, donated chips. To, oh, never mind. Can't say it. Sorry, I, I ruined it. I brew ruined it. Uh, chips. Nope, nope, yeah. nope, nope, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, it's a rock and roll band slash an axle. Uh, Guns and Broses. All right, great. Uh, it's a shopping market. It's not Giant Eagle. It's Broker. Great. All right. Pepper Potts in Iron Man. Uh, the CE Bro. No, Ooh. the name of the actress. Oh, oh, Sorry. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. All right, yep. Uh, okay, Carmen sings this song. Uh, it's about the birth of baby Jesus. South Park. It's a, it's a. He sings it straight. It's just because it sounds stupid because it's Cartman. Oh, Broly Knight. Yep, yep. Right yep. at the buzzer. Oh, Boy, no. I hit five. Dear God. <laughs> no, no, Keith. Keith. No. All right, so I gave Keith a bonus for no. CE Bro and something else cool that he did. I just can't remember what it was. All bro, right, Bro Chips. Yeah, that's what it was. All right, Jimmy, are <laughs> yep. you ready? Okay. Sure. Seven is to beat. Go. Okay, it's a string instrument that's not a violin. A bro, uh, shell bro. No, uh, the other one. Bro, uh, viol, bro, oh, 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 oh. Yes. Okay, um, Maybe. I'm it's a chip that has the flavor of nacho cheese and Cool Ranch. Dur- Dorit Bros. Yes. A brass instrument that's not a trumpet. Oh. Or a tuba. A trombone. Yes. Um, <laughs> it is a thing that's made with ketchup. I don't know. That ketchup is made from this. Oh, tomato bro? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, a state <laughs> that Sarah Palin's from. Alaska. Is that where Alaska she's from? Alaska. Oh, no. That's just a, no, she has that accent. Um, oh, Minnesota. Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota? Yes. Um, another state um, that has a. Oh wait, I can't say the word. Um, not well. I don't, it's not North Dakota, but <laughs> South Dakota. <laughs> nope. Damn it! I was gonna try. I didn't. Right. Not bad. All right, we're at seven to five, and that okay. gives me no. That gives me no. That gives me no. I get. They were half bonus points. Mm. He had to earn them. So technically, Bro, it'd be six to five. They'd plus. still be winning. One more word, and I give them infinity points. <laughs> <laughs> say, 
that's what I Can thought. we have that in Infinity and Dragons? <laughs> All right, by the way, for, oh, for, for those okay. coming in, uh, please come on in, but oh. we are doing uh, the Bro Code. It's an opening act, kind of like a parlor game right before It's All Been Done Radio Hour. Um, it's pretty much a $100,000 pyramid, but with words, we fill in the words with bro, bra, uh, we'll, but we're still now in bro. Now we switch, right? Yeah, but now, now we, switch. we switch. Okay, well, I saw that one. Oh, oh, okay, so switch people? <laughs> well, you switch okay. who's reading and who's guessing. Okay. So if you see it, I took out the one, and by the way, <laughs> you yes. can try sports if I get it wrong once or I just go right. past, just be ready. All right, for time's sake, are you ready? <sighs> yeah. Go anyway, three, two, one. Yeah, this is a condiment, uh, white, it's also uh, the patty... Uh, uh, I put it on stuff in Canada. Uh, yep. May bro nays. Yep. Uh, like this is there. like this is like you who it's a uh, chocolate additive for your milk. Oh, uh, 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 but it's like the, the first first uh, skip. part is it? All right. Sorry. Okay. Uh, a Mexican food, but it's not a taco. It's the uh, burrito bro. Yep. This is a brand of cheese puff snacks. Uh, with Chester the Cheetah. Oh, uh, Cheat Bros. Yeah. Nice. And this one's upside down. Ooh, I think it's a tennis player. Not Skip sure. it. Okay. Uh, sure, this was the 44th president. The good one. Oh, uh, Barack Obro Brahma. Yes. Brahma. A uh, too. female teen pop idol. Uh, probably not teen now. I think she used to date Justin Bieber or something. All right. Damn. Not bad. You got four. They gotta get six, and trust me, it might not happen. Oh, yeah. oh I would have never done that one either. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. All right, I started ten seconds ago. Uh, the snack we were eating backstage. Uh, bromato <laughs> chips. Uh, the Windy City. Um, Chicago. Uh, used to be a planet. Um, oh, Plubro. Uh, no, say it correctly. Plute bro. There you go. Uh, movie starring Macaulay Culkin. Uh, Bro Malone. Oh, right, what could you do to fix it? Uh, Bro Malone. Or Brome, uh, uh Brome. Too late. Uh, <laughs> uh, damn, big body of water, Atlantic Pacific. Um, Brocian. Uh, channel, SpongeBob SquarePants aired on. Uh, Nickelo- Nicka Brodian. Uh, Gold Robot from Star Wars. Um, c 3 pre bro Uh, like a uh, homeless uh, person that rides the train. Wait, say that again? Like a homeless person that rides the train? Uh, <laughs> what? Bro. Never, hobo. Oh! Uh, <laughs> something blows up. Explosion. Nice! Ex- there we go. Uh, okay. Song from Frozen. Uh, let it bro. Uh, what is salt? Another word for salt. Oh. Time. Okay. Is Sodium. It, oh, it, duh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're actually pretty close. It's 11 to 14. So for time's sake, we're going to go to yes. the bonus All right. round. All right, Keith. Here bonus we go, buddy. round. We got this. <laughs> I know. I'm under a lot of pressure, Marianne. Are these different cards? <laughs> these are oh, damn, sorry. <laughs> I should have been better. Marion's way more attractive. Oh, oh sick right. bird. So what I'm going to do is just do five. Wow. I only have ten of these, so I'm just going to mix them up. Wow. Give each two five. You decide who's going to read, who's going to guess. I don't know. I don't care. I think we did better when I gave you clues. That so. sounds yeah. I think that sounds good too. I kind of I have a message. Look at the first. There are not five there. there, there, not there, 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 there I realize that. Do you mind if I read? There's, There's only three. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. No, I'm doing this. Mary, I missed a compliment about her. Okay, you too. You missed a compliment about yourself. Sorry. Sort of. Right. This is not fair. Since Nick went first, starting round one, Jimmy, you will go first, starting starting this round. Are you ready? So yes. Is, so let me let me uh, rephrase once again. Yeah, so it means, Every yeah. word will have a bro and bra in it. Sometimes they'll be back bro. to back. But it might be in the beginning <laughs> in the end. Bro and bra. It has to be clear. Are you ready, Jimmy? Yes. Right, three, two, one, bro. Star Wars character flew the Millennium Falcon. Just had his own movie. Okay, um Bron Brolo. Yeah! Uh, it's a food. It's a Keep Mexican gone. food. It's got a uh, uh, shell. Oh, Brock, bro. Good. One of the Ninja Turtles had a purple headband. Had the bow staff. I don't remember if that was <laughs> Brian. Bar- don't know. It, oh, that's the name of an artist. Oh my uh, gosh, Brian Art. Bria. Bro. No. Oh, no. I, was, <laughs> I can't think of it right now. Uh, it starts with the same letter as duck. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Da. 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 Bro. Mm. Bra a tail, bro. Take. Uh, Sailor yeah. John McCain is senator. Oh, I don't it's know. It's out southwestern state. Uh, beginning of the alphabet. Oh, Air Brona. Yep, type of car they make a Camry. 
Uh, Broyobra. Got them all. He didn't get the Arizona one correctly. You can try again. Try again. Um, Bear... Oh, oh what? Air, Air of Bra. Air Brom. Oh, duh. Well. <laughs> okay. Now, you guys did get 20 there. Woo! So I have to get all five to win. Mm-hmm. Okay. No pressure, guys. No pressure. <laughs> you remember, I'm four to <laughs> Don't suck it up. You, you've earned extra bonus points already, what you worry about. Yeah, yeah. All right, ready? All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one, bro. All right, it's, it's not a vegetable, it's a fruit, but it's on pizza. Mix up the sauce. Oh, uh, bro, mate, bro? Bro, 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 bro wait. Bro, mate, bra. bro. Oh, bro, mate, bro? That doesn't... Mm-hmm. Yep. Hmm. All right, doctors have these, they wear them around their necks. Listen to... Uh, Steth bro, bro. Yep. Uh, it's a cereal. Uh, it uh, it's, has a, oh, jeez, an apple blank flavor to it. And that's not right. The first word is apple blank. It's usually in cinnamon like Apple Jacks. But yeah. this is a separate cereal. The full title is it's bread and you oh, bite uh, down. C- c- mm. Yes, yes, yes. C- yes. Cinna, cinbra men bros crunch. Yep. Or bros brunch. All right. And your wife does these kinds of classes where you dance and exercise. Uh, Zumbra. No, the other one. I thought it starts with a no, that's, X. That's one X. Time's up. Z. Wait for the timer. Uh, I thought it was yoga. No, no, she did Zumba. Oh, never mind. I thought she did Zumba and yoga. All right. Mm, twice in a row, Joe. So, by the way, before Joe came out, he just like to point out. He's just like, I didn't win last. I was like, No, you did win last time. <laughs> you guys make a good. No, I, no, I said I just wasn't very good. You wasn't very good. Good I, enough. I, I, <laughs> so, reigning so, champs. Now, now, yeah, you guys are reigning champs. Okay. So we won't be playing next month. Oh. We have a stand-up comedian next month. Get out of here without jeez! You're a creep. Go away. We're having a good time until you start up, cheapers. <laughs> Go have some coffee with cream or something, because I'll tell you something, this is a happy place!